my name is Daniel and we are going to talk about the veterinary medicine and the pet industry in Australia. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, the demand for veterinarians will increase by over 35% through 2020. They associate this fact to two main reasons. Improvement in veterinary medical service and insatiable consumer demand for pets. There are some industries in a global scenario that are growing and hire new workers more than any other sectors of the economy. Healthcare is, in general is one of the industries that is experiencing this job growth. According to the Australian Pet Industry Association, the pet business will continue to bloom unabated in the future and certain segments are seeing a significant amount of growth. Among them, the pet health segment is one of the areas that has been evolving expressively from advances in veterinary technology to more and more insurance companies selling pet policies. The values explain by themselves. Pet owners spent spend 14 million on vet bills in 2013. Moreover, the pet industry as a whole is expected to reach 96 billion in sales in 2020, according to the market research blog. In the US, 56% of American households own pets, and in Australia, this is not any different. In 2016, there were more than 24 million pets in Australian homes. It represents 62% of the households and it's also one of the highest rates of pet ownership, according to the Australian Veterinary Association. 20 dogs for every 100 people. Australian households are spending more than 12.2 billion annually on pet products and services. 2.2 billion of this expenditure is on veterinary services. Pets are part of their families and that would be the first explanation to this trend. They are what they call their fur babies. Having said that, the sky is the limit for this industry. Work as a veterinarian can be considered a career that would offer great business opportunities, it can be stimulating and rewarding, and most of the professionals find their work quite enjoyable. However, from time to time, all the professionals experience stress. Either when they are under the pressure of saving lives or under situations that lead to stress, addictions, grief and loss, depression, anxiety, and even suicide are part of the list of problems that have to be addressed. Other problems, problems could also be relevant, such as unemployment issues, management challenges, and the high level of competition within the market. The question is, how can a vet manage effectively all those difficulties and challenges? Hi, my name is Thiago, and a role as a vet manager is important to notice that the majority of academic health centers should provide knowledge and develop leaders able to manage organization in regards to innovations, education, and mainly patient care. Unfortunately, this is not the reality within the field. Good and competent vets do not necessarily are good managers, and their business can struggle because of this lack of expertise. In other words, the skills required for a good leader within this field should be a leader who is aware of the threats and opportunity of the market, should have competence to evaluate the competitors, has financial capabilities, but most of all, comprehend the staff needs. A leader that knows how to communicate to their staff. A manager that is concerned about the social and environmental questions, and also that is capable of motivating and engaging their team to improve and better perform. A leader who would lead their staff to follow their by example and not by fear. There are two scenarios where those capabilities could be applied. How to gain more clients and how to make them loyal. Second, how to gather a high skill team and to keep them motivated and satisfied. Besides the fact that there are a lot of opportunities of growing with this market, the career of a veterinarian can be affected by threats and uncertainties in some countries. Canada, for instance, has been facing an economic recession and consequently the population would be unlikely 
to acquire a pet which could affect directly the market. In addition, the competition is high to the number of veterinary clinics heading towards a market saturation and more and more people getting interested in veterinary colleagues that are complaining an increase in romance as some examples of the competition. So, something has to be done in order to better manage this challenge scenario. A well-qualified manager would have to have a broader vision of this competitive environmental environment and work hard to make the difference. What would be the best strategy to overcome the obstacles? Evaluating deeper according to SWOT analysis. Strength. A high-skilled team would be the main factor in the health sector. A better perform to gain clients and keep them loyal. Providing a good quality of service would be the best strength for a business that traps lives and saving them and restoring their health would be the expected outcome. Weakness. That would be exactly the opposite situation. Offering facilities and high advanced technology it still would be represent walls and equipment inside a building. The staff and health professionals must be competent, efficient and treat patients and owners respectfully. Opportunities. The global scenario as a whole appears as a growing demand for animal health products and service. An efficient manager would we see beyond this massive opportunity when dealing with their stuff. Considering efficiency of the team associated to differentials in the premise and facilities and a diversification of the services provided can improve significantly the performance of the vet hospital. Small difference and improvements such as the adoption of environmental friendly design inside of the clinic by a good use of daylight or adding ceiling fans instead of air conditioning can lead to the greater efficiency and sustainability. Not all, I would say only a few of vet clinics are environmental conscious and what that would mean an important achievement for the business. Threats. High competitive market, the customer relationship is based on trust, which is fragile line to be broke. And there is a high demand for new professionals. In Australia, what could represent more competition? Hi mates, my name is Christian. I'm news manager from a well-known veterinary enterprise. I will be talking about employee retention and mentoring. It's a great challenge, the retention of skilled workers and the creation of a sustainable, healthy work environment. We know and understand veterinaries, workers and capable uh, of migrating to other market opportunities, looking for work opportunities and satisfying the specific market needs. The current trends are showing that the veterinary demand is increasing in the entire world. Moreover, the most demanded markets are animal hospitals and veterinary clinics, veterinary laboratory testing services, among others. It's interesting to see how the veterinary services are being developed like the human healthcare system. With hospitals, residential nursing, other healthcare practitioners, dental services, and even mental health facilities. This change in the markets regarding the public demand and even global competition have addressed that the veterinary worker profile must be skilled and the managers have to get the ability to retain these employees. There are certain steps when the managers need to follow if they want to hire skilled workers. That's why we have the commitment to help them to develop their careers. And even so, when we talk about the transitional employees, also known as good swallows. In this case, the strategy for this last group is trying to retain them as much as possible and at the same time, making them transfer their knowledge to the new employees. Even though there are many techniques for the retention and job satisfaction in a company and it's important to highlight that not all employees embrace the same vision and passion. Therefore, the best way to approach this retention is getting a good team and excellent communication, using, of course, a mentoring program. 
the process of mentoring in the veterinary teams is essential to get a sense of belonging in a team. When the employees feel that they are not another team like the current or it will be difficult to find a similar job with the same features, the employee decides to maintain the job uninterrupted and permanently.